Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Timberborn. I'm Sunfoot Dust Bunny, and I must say, I'm actually quite excited to get back to it. Um, just because for me, it's been actually a little way since, um, a little bit of time since I actually recorded. Um, I backed some up, and I've had a bit of a break, and now I'm back. I'm feeling refreshed, but I don't remember where any of the buttons are. Um, I want more of those. These are levies. Levies, levies, levies. Where's my Chevy at the levy? There you are. There you go. Um, and we want a set of steps. Yes, please. I'm going to have to delete the path, aren't I? Um, path removal was... Was, 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 was. I don't remember actually. Uh, path? Yes. Oh god. I don't remember any of the buttons. Dynamite. I wish I had dynamite. Um, while I search for this, I would like to say thank you very much to all the people who have been um, giving me comments because oh, it's been awesome. Um, I must say thank a special thank you to Gitesh and Awal who hopefully I've pronounced that correctly and um, just say in 83 who've been giving me some invaluable tips on how to do things right delete buildings this is not I don't want to delete the building I want to remove the path how the hell do I remove the path can I ju yeah just like that there you go I just wasn't selecting it correctly after all of that but yes thank you guys for those awesome comments that ha that has really helped actually um, some good ideas on what to do going forward but I think today is gonna be the big day um, I'm gonna knock the speed up a little and I'm gonna get rid of I think actually probably not I was gonna raise this up but I think I'm not going to for now unless I get a problem but I'm gonna leave this here and hope it doesn't give me too much trouble um, the one thing I do want to do which is gonna again require a bit of path deletion here um, is I just want to no, give me the path there we go and that one I know there's a better way of erasing this I will find it but I want to get just another couple of levees in there just to stop crazy overflowing or something like that going along. So I apologize for having forgotten a couple of buttons here and there. And this is all going to deconstruct. So probably frustrating you with those bits, but I'll delete those and delete those. Because I think today is going to be the day we open up the floodgates here and try and let the water down through um, I need those two blocks to finish as well um, and I was thinking about putting a dam here um, and I do still want to put a dam there but I just need to work out how I'm gonna get the guys the little guys around here um, one of the really nice tips was someone was telling me that we can build down pretty much infinitely um, but o up only one um, so that was extremely handy to know and also not to worry about water wheels just yet unless I can get things going I mean like somewhere here might be tempting for a water wheel if I can put one but it's what I do with the power from here because have to like pipe it miles so the other thing I'm gonna need is some wood hopefully I can trim this down but I might end up putting all this oh what's, what's going on here nothing to do yes um, that's true fella now I was actually thinking along with my grand plans one this is something I need to get rid of because that was there for test purposes only and 
Oh, that does work on paths. Why didn't it work before? Ah, I was just selecting the wrong thing. Um, I'll get rid of this one as well. But that was there for test purposes, but I'm almost tempted to try and build up along here and sort of re -dam this out so it holds a bit more water as well and I can move this one up to this level up here. And I think that would actually be better. Maybe, possibly, hopefully. Um, so that's one of my plans. Um, obviously, I've got a bit of a shortage of wood going on at the moment. But that's where this area is probably going to come to be all just pine. And I'm going to use that to sort of bolster my wood supplies. Because here they have very little wood going on. And we've pretty much cleared out. Well, we haven't cleared out the whole area, but we've cleared out a lot of it. Um, I'm even tempted to actually expand this zone slightly now with the housing. Um, housing there. Yeah, we'll expand this zone and risk ourselves getting in trouble. I don't have a drought right away. But I'm sure there's going to be one imminently in enough. So what I'll probably do is plonk that down like so for now. And we'll get the... Yeah, that's marked trees for cutting. But actually I want the wood cutting flag. Lumberjack flag. And I will lumberjack this area. And then what I need to look at doing later on is putting a forester in just over here somewhere. And I might actually move the lumberjack flag one here, one there, and sort things out. Because what I can do is put that there, put a lumberjack flag next to it. I know at the moment they're going to have to run a long way to get the wood up, and I may end up putting another wood storage area here. I can't even remember if these are, these are builders' huts, aren't they? And if I remember rightly, that, that building hut was basically useless because it can only hold food. And we're not actually making any food in this area. We're whopping down the, the steel or metals, but we're not doing a lot with the metals. I'll move it up to three second. I think I'm okay there. I mean, we're flying along. We've got, we're just hammering through all our wood stocks. So I want to get more wood so I need to mark an area with this don't I um, so we need to mark basically why can't I mark this area there we go that's better and mark that area and that will get that going what does this say this building isn't connected to any district I know why for once I actually know why because I've built that and I haven't built a path right here. Now it's connected to a district. How's that? So I may end up putting like one there and one there. And actually then just getting rid of all this and having all this out this way as trees. Um, I need to get those built. Mm. It's not getting built. I think it's just too far. Maybe I need to put those back to get the distance. Or maybe. Um, hmm. I wonder if I got rid of the pa Oh, I've deleted them now. If I got rid of this piece of path and then added them back in but access them from this side. Would that work? Um, oh, they're, they're back again. It must, it, uh, it, it, there's a click mode for showing them on, hiding what's not been built. And then putting a cross like that, and then building a path through there. Will that get it built? Then I have access for maintenance, you know. But it doesn't seem to like it if you 
don't have the two districts connected and if I do a district gate I'm not sure a district gate will work on there but I can try it how does that work would that work as a nice little join between districts an alternative route maybe so work my beavering friends beaver like you've never beavered before so yeah I noticed that the thing someone was explaining to me that the water producer basically takes from my water supply chucks into here now that sounds good because that means obviously some of the water gets stored um, in this area but what I'd probably like to do is build this up but unfortunately it probably means I'm gonna have to move this building um, which is a bit of a pain so I might have to decide how I'm gonna do how I'm gonna do this and just like block this area back off and bring it up a level like I say and put this one up here block this off here and just bring the water level up one more level on this side and have almost like a storage reservoir here where I can keep water pumping because yeah I've got a um, drought coming and I think after that drought I'm gonna hopefully be able to open up this big route through here and allow things to get going I mean we may even be opening a new path here I'm not sure quite how because what I'd like to do is put a dam down here of sorts for now there and there and probably one there 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 and there now I've also been told very helpfully that my beavers can swim which sounds kind of obvious when you think about it but um apparently it wasn't as obvious to me as it probably should have been um of course beavers can swim but I just I, I honestly I just didn't even consider it I kind of thought of it like a sort of city builder and not being able to swim so yeah we've got that one there I want to build another woodcutters flag like right here that would be good no need to put one there what I'll probably do is put another one another one here and then I'll delete this actually because I've got that one I've marked that area I'll end up marking the whole area and then I'll end up marking it out for trees but I'm not going to do that till after the drought because it's going to be a waste of time plant planting trees like right before a drought it's going to be a bit of a waste so we'll get rid of all of that and hopefully these guys are going to start chopping these trees I don't know why they're not chopping these trees I think the wood is going into this one I think I'm going to pause the construction on that for the time being just to avoid the logs being wasted because what I'd like, like to do is get this dam done and that will mean that next time well when the water returns I can start bringing all the water down across this area and hopefully this is going to give us a nice green zone here I and mean, the only temptation is do you actually bring it all the way out over here to get a bunch of this but I think that's overkill um, I think I'll be able to get some nice farming area over here to help expand out I mean really I'm a bit sad I built my district so close but it is what it is um, I was learning I was learning and I think I've learned some more and would like to change some of that in the near future but I think we're gonna be fairly good for the drought uh, there's not as much water as I would like here this building should be maximum priority you're still maximum priority why do we have no water 
that's a little bit worrying. There's less water than I would have hoped. Um, I hadn't been keeping an eye on that. Is it this irrigation tower? Is this irrigation tower costing me? Because the other thing I was going to build here was another farm, wasn't it? Um, I was thinking to build an additional farm right there. To make sure we had all the beavers working at maximum beaverage speed. But we seem to be doing alright at the moment. I'll keep an eye on it. Um... My biggest problem definitely seems to be water. Stream gauge measures the depth and flow of water. Sounds useful. Um, what's this? Mechanical pump. Pumps water from one side and discharges it on the other. More efficient than regular pump. Maximum depth four. Okay. I'm not entirely sure of the use of that right now. Um, I'm sure there is one. I'm just not sure what it is right now. But yeah, um, stream gauge sounds useful. So I could probably use that to work out if I needed to say if I could put in a water wheel. But with the drought happening, I mean, we've got the water backed up here at the moment, but we will run out. I think we've got quite a lot of beavers to to feed water and we're pumping away. But to be honest, I think we need like better water pumps. Do we not have better water pumps? At the moment we have, what's this? This is the, so that's the pump I'm using. And that's a water dump, small tank, large tank, irrigation tower. Right, so that's a mechanical pump, but that mechanical pump, um, okay, I haven't got the things to do it. That mechanical pump is not actually hugely useful to me in terms of actually getting water into these. So this seems to be the the only way from what i can see of getting water out of the ground to where you want or out of the river to where you want it but even though i've got all these pumps i don't seem to be filling up enough of my storage i mean i've got 800 of water at the moment i've got three days left of my drought so i should be fairly okay how things how are things going down here guys we're almost good with the dam we're almost ready to go then i can start thinking about more f more food i don't quite know why this isn't working as i would have hoped um so this is going to be pretty much all pine i noticed actually there wasn't there was this couple of blocks I just can't reach so those I can't do so oh, obscured behind the thing so yeah I'm thinking if we do all of this in pine I mean at the moment though I won't be able to get those trees I don't know whether to leave a path down through actually um, it might be wise to leave a path down through just to sort of well, we'll do it we'll leave a path here just to see if that if the beavers move faster down there and that gets that working and I can see I've missed a spot right there but yeah I'm just gonna go all pine here this is all just for purposes of having plenty of wood because this is not cutting the mustard at the moment but we have been hammering our wood supply pretty hard. How are we doing on water? Six... Six, seventeen. We are going to be alright, I reckon. On water. Um, but once I get going, I'm going to definitely want to be storing more water over here somewhere. 
Um, how far down can those waters pump? I'm guessing if I... No, that's the wrong one. Uh, maximum depth, two. So I could put one over here and it would still pick up because it will go down that maximum depth. So that might not be a terrible plan because I did actually think about do I want to build this all up or more level and have it all too high. Um, at the moment that seems overkill to me. I'd be interested to know what what everyone thinks about that, just bringing that up another level. I mean, obviously, then you... I don't want to flood this entire area, so you might end up bringing a stream around here, or something like that. Um, it's how I then redirect that, because this is going to go all over the place when it goes down here. It's going to flood out this zone anyway. Um, and eventually I'd have to look at like blocking this off and directing it out that way but I mean there's, that, there's a lot of potential land here and I know like when you get explosives I think I'll be able to channel back into some of these areas to to get channels going so I think here I'm gonna put a water pump and what I might do is I might put a second water pump next to it so these guys are getting their own water supply and then the big problem is going to be they don't get gears at the moment do they um oh god I've got to remember how districts work work again um because yeah I need to bring over gears So district distribution limits, gears. So if I just say like 10 gears, that should do. Yeah, 10 gears. I don't know why there's suddenly not a route here for gears. Hopefully that would be, yeah, you need to do, um, oh no, this goes the other way around, doesn't it? This is, this is the drop-off point and this is the distribution post so what I have to do I have to tell this distribution post to send gears yes send gears 10 gears uh, oh no that's low okay uh, fine that'll do and don't I have to go yeah I have to add a route so I go here to here gears okay ha 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 see six routes okay so if I click on routes I can now yes I can now see gears to steel hill that, that's right that's right I've done it right so the water's dried out I'm already getting water back this is good, this is good. Now, what I want to do is see if I can drop this down to... How do I move this down? Well, to 1.5, there we go. Um, and this one, I'd like to move up to 3. All the way. So I'm cutting the water off this way and sending it all out this way. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, that's what I call victory. That is nice. And actually, there's quite a lot of flow through here. So I, I'm betting. Yeah, I'm betting you could get quite a sort of water wheel thing going here. Quite where I want to put the industry. I mean, you could you probably could put it there and put industry down here instead of trees, actually. Um, be more tempted to sort of somehow pipe it along here somewhere and uh, put, bring it up here to where we're getting rid of all this metal then it would be useful but this is going to be 
a lovely big reservoir. Oh my god, look what I've done to the map. It it it's a mass flood. Oh it doesn't the water doesn't quite travel that far. At least at the moment. But that's worked really well. I'm 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 quite happy with that. That's really nice. And yeah, so now all this area is green back to here, so we can have more farming land. Yeah, this is out of water, which is unfortunate because all this is, yeah, it's dying, it's died, it's died, it's died, it's died, and that's got no water. Yeah, that's a problem. Why, why, what's the problem with this? This building is full, right? It's full. So why aren't we getting water down to here? Is anyone working here? No. So what we're saying is we're probably short of beavers. Have we got any homeless beavers? We do not have... We have four vacancies. Uh, we have... 50 beavers. Four free, free beds. But we don't seem to have any additional beavers in those beds. So what we could probably do with is a couple of extra beaver houses down here somewhere. Um, let's stick one there for now. That'll do. That'll get us a couple more beavers, hopefully. Because I guess it's split between the districts as well as to job wise because here we've got no no workers so here we probably need extra beaverage as well which I haven't thought of so if I bring this up and this up that way I'm gonna build two houses on top of here I think that will work nicely, at least for now. Then if I want to build this up a different way down here, I can and I probably will. What I'll probably do is do that and then go there, put a path in, oh and don't forget to put the path in there. I do find that one of the less intuitive bits of the game that you have to put the path on there for it to work properly. Seems a bit strange to me. Um, you know, because, I don't know, in my brain you would naturally want beavers to walk on it. There we go. And we can get those houses on the go. The other thought is we need to probably start thinking recreation because what we really need to do is we've got building lax workers times 10 yeah so that'll be fine we can bring those workers on oh, I'm loving this massive area though this is nice um, this building lax workers lax workers I don't want to send people I mean I could send people across I guess at the moment, I'm thinking building lacks materials. Uh, okay. But I'm kind of thinking that I want to let this sort of grow dynamically, but it's one of these things of I could send the. Why have I... Oh, I'm looking at that district. I was, I was suddenly thinking, why have I got so few beavers? What's going on? Right. So now we've got six uh three vacancies six free beds so we should be able to build up enough enough beavers oh someone died of old age now food food's the next issue and beaver happiness i need to look at this beaver happiness so we've got progress eight of eleven so we need cattail crackers, grilled spader dock, 
and maple pastries. Oh my good god. Um, okay. A beaver statue, a roof, a shrub. Okay, many, many things to look at there. Um, so this is a bakery, I believe, that is baking, baking bread. Um, what does it take to make cow crackers? It takes cow flour, which I haven't got. And maple pastries takes maple and wheat flour and wood. Okay, so why aren't you working? Because no one's going to put this on a higher priority job. I need someone working there. So this is all wheat. But maybe we ought to be changing, maybe I ought to be changing that to be one of the other wheat things. This is a grit mill, so the grit mill takes wheat and makes flour or cattle flour. Oh my lord. Um, I'm starting to find myself in the world of Factorio confusion. Well, as I've got wheat, I believe I have... Do I have maple? I thought I had some maple trees here somewhere. No, I have chestnut trees. Okay, so I need some maple trees. And I need to make some maple. Um, okay. Okay, mission, mission number two, I guess. Um, where am I going to put the maple trees? I mean, I don't need lots, but it would seem like a wasted forester if we've not got some of that, no? Um, I think I'm just going to change some of this over. Maybe if I... Does that not work for this? Um, oh, that's a good point. I've just remembered here, down here, I do need to flag all of this for wood cutting, don't I? Or that will never work. So there we go, flag all of that for wood cutting. Or I'll never cut the trees. So if I look at changing some of this over to maple, because at the moment I've got loads and loads of chestnut. So maybe I take a bunch of this and switch it over to maple. So trees and bushes. Right. I'm going to get rid of... Uh, that much? Is that overkill? I don't know. I'm going to get rid of that much. And I'm going to put maple down there but I can't put maple down there until it's all flagged for cutting so a clear planting area yes I need to clear can I I need to like there was a thing for flagging for cutting yes all of this flag all of this for cutting oh no that's unmarked cutting damn you well, I want to unmark the cutting anyway, because I won't want to cut those down. So, oh, I could, I could look at a monument, a labour monument. How much science have I got? I've got bloody loads. Let's unlock a monument. I don't care, I'm building a monument. Um, holy moly, that's a big monument. Um, can I build it up here? <laughs> I can build a monument on top of the building. That's awesome. Um, I kind of want to do it up here. Like, where it's going to reach the maximum effectiveness. Where people can stand in awe of the beaver monument. 
see because a lot of beavers pass through this area so I think that's where the beaver monument is going um, this is probably a poor a poor choice but I'm gonna do it anyway um, so I'm gonna stick that there like that and that one there like that so people can get up on this roof because we're gonna want a path here path here and here so people can get up and admire the mighty beaver laborer there we go and this I still need to figure out what the hell I'm doing with it because it's been a while ah Unmark Weasel, Weasel, no, that's Unmark Weasels. Mark Weasel, ah, there we go. I hope I still get the wood for these. If I mark all these for demolition. Like so. Remove the trees, my friends. But I am severely happy with this progress. I mean, to be honest, something I hadn't thought of here is there is there's some serious ability to even get some farming or tree work going along here as well um, I had not considered that hmm I mean if 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 oh they're swimming If I did that, and then did that, I can put that there, and then we can get up onto this level and start making a use of that too. Because as much as it's going to be drying out whenever a drought comes, I mean, you're still going to be able to get some some good pickings along here. I mean, this is where the temptation comes with raising all this up one. And raising the whole water level along as far as, say, here. By one. Just as like a water store that would keep all this alive for longer. That is definitely something I will be considering. Um, because it seems to make sense to me. Yeah, that definitely makes sense to me. How are we doing this district-wise? So we have nine beavers. How many job vacancies do we have? Five job vacancies. Okay, five job vacancies and... We still have plenty of beds though, they're, they're growing, they're growing. I don't want to over expand. I don't want to go too fast here. Which I know some of you might be there going, go faster for the love of God. See, all of this is ruined. This is why I think there has to be another farmhouse here. The, the, they're not shifting the food fast enough. And then I am going to, if I click on the farm, where, how do I, I've forgotten how to designate a crop. Here we go, designate a crop. Um, I can designate some cattail. Hmm. Where do I want to designate cattail to? How much is it to unlock? You need an aquatic farmhouse to use cattail you what now there's an aquatic farmhouse there's an, there's an aquatic farmhouse okay okay this is a different matter this might be a good cause for this area over here that has huge amounts of water because um, I mean these guys have no work in them I mean, here we're going to need to get some workers in there, and I'm also going to want to get some... I can't fit a large tank in there, can I? That is unfortunate. I can fit a large tank there, though, and probably another one there. 
which I think will be what we will do. Um, I am going to be investigating the aquatic farmhouse and some of these other options here. And I think that's going to have to be next time because I'm going to have to say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always and join us again next time. Thanks a lot.